Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 21st of August 2011. On the 25th of September 1992, NASA launched Mars Observer. Today's trivia question is, how many days later before it got into orbit around Mars? The answer will be given at the end. Solar activity started to pick up a little bit yesterday and has continued for the last 24 hours and has even produced one whole sea flare. So let's take a look at the active regions and see what's going on. Currently we have three officially numbered sunspot regions on the disk and there is a new as yet unnumbered region coming over the northeast limb. Let's take a look at them individually and see how they've been changing. First we'll take a look at region 1271. This is how it looked yesterday and this is how it looks today. The small group of spots to the north and east seem to have decayed significantly over the last 24 hours. However, the group of spots that were to the south and east that disappeared yesterday seem to be showing some signs of returning. The main group itself seems to have lost many of its small satellite spots, whereas the large spots seem to be relatively unchanged. Now region 1272 has shown quite a bit of change. Here again is how it looked yesterday, and this is it today. You can certainly see a major difference in the region. A lot of the small scattered spots seem to have disappeared and there are some now moderately large spots, even some with penumbra, that have developed in the trailer part of the region. So this is probably the source of most of the activity we've seen, including the sea flare, over the last 24 hours. Lastly, let's turn to the regions that are coming over the northeast limb. One to the north here are the remnants of region 1260, which looked rather like this three weeks ago. You can see that the region has decayed significantly since then, leaving basically a leader spot with a couple of small satellite spots around it. The region to the south is an entirely new region, so we have no history on that at all, but it looks at the moment like just a single large spot with maybe a couple of small satellite spots trailing it. Summarizing the level of activity is that the sun has been relatively quiet for the last 24 hours. Most of the activity we've seen has been contributed by region 1272, whereas other regions seem to be decaying. The two new regions coming over the northeast limb are relatively simple groups and won't contribute very much to solar activity unless they suddenly start to regrow. Now let's take a look at the evolution of these regions over the last 48 hours using the data from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. In the sunspot and magnetic movies I'd like you to concentrate on the developments in region 1272 and the appearance of the new regions coming over the northeast limb. Some of the changes are fairly subtle, so you may want to go into full screen mode to get the full benefit of these high resolution images. In the transition region movie from the AIA instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, we're on the hunt for filaments and prominences that have lifted off or will be lifting off. So I marked some of the possible areas that you should keep an eye on over the next 24 hours. However, we see no major eruptions on the disk itself. There is a nice little eruption off the northeast limb but it's not really been large enough to cause a major coronal mass ejection. In the low temperature corona movie, I'd like you to contrast and compare the brightness of the new regions coming over the northeast with the two existing regions, 1271 and 1272, that are on the disk. I think you'll find the new regions are very much fainter and less active than the two regions on the disk. So that should give us some indication of what to expect from them. The high temperature image from the GOES SXI instrument shows us that the coronal hole that we've been talking about for the last couple of days should start affecting us either later today or early tomorrow. We have had one faint coronal mass ejection off the east limb of the Sun, uh, which can be seen here in the C2 instrument. But as we saw no filament eruptions from that part of the Sun, it probably means it was from the back side, probably, region from, probably from the returns of region 1261 or 1263. Yesterday, two more members of the Crutz family of comets dived into the sun. I missed them, I must admit, but Mr. Maverick Star put a comment on yesterday's video to the effect that they were there, and indeed they are. And he made a short video about them, which you might find fun to watch if you go to his channel. You can see them coming in from the southwest on a directory towards the sun, and towards the end they just seem to disappear, they just seem to evaporate as they get close in they never even make it into the C2 field of view. The temperature of the solar wind seems to remain relatively constant and the velocity of the solar wind may have increased slightly in the last 24 hours. However, the real story here is the density which has dropped to almost zero. So there's almost no solar wind. That's how quiet it is at the moment. The high energy electron flux seems to have dropped significantly and there is still no sign of any proton events. The auroral zone remains very quiet 
and the KP index, though briefly reaching the level of 3, has returned to the level of 0, with an average over the 24 hours of about 1. So in summary then, the X-ray background is at the B1 level, the sunspot number has increased to 59, the radio sun intensities remain constant at 98 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has increased slightly to 410 km per second, solar wind density is much less than 1 proton per cubic centimetre, and geospace conditions are very quiet. So my 24 hour forecast is there's a possible chance of a C flare, but M flares are unlikely and X flares are very improbable. The sunspot number will probably ease higher. CMEs are still possible. Solar wind speed is higher. And the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm is very low. For a longer term forecast, we can look at the composite coronal image and see that we have two or three regions just behind the east limb that should be back by tomorrow. These are the remnants of region 1261. However, region 1263 is still about four days behind the limb. We'll have to wait a little while to welcome that one back. If you want to find out more about what's going on in the Sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you would like to hear some of the earlier editions of the Sun today, go to my channel. They're all listed there along with some other videos that you might find fun to watch. The answer to our trivia question was that Mars Observer never reached Mars. NASA lost contact with it on the 21st of August 1993 just three days before it was due to go into orbit around the planet. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.